ka na. Alam boses. Dong, walang sounds dong. Uh, again, uh, tingnan natin. Ah. For the meantime, tet, usap, ano muna tayo? Uh, ah. How important is the relationship? Di ba? Sa, sa amin, kilala nyo kami na, na dumaan din kami sa panahon tet na, ano, ano, na talagang makalayo. Tapos, uh, There's bilang, one thing na masasabi ko sa inyo, no? lahat naman po tayo ay tao lang. No po, kami pong mag-asawa ay tao lang. Meron din kami mga imperfections. Uh, uh, eh, eto, yeah. kamaya na lang. Kamaya, Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ako nga pala si Joe Domango. Nagpapasalamat po ako kay Terence and Ted Lim for inviting me over to be part of the Fritz Revolution family. Isa pong malaking karangalan, maihanay kay Sir Francis J. Kong, kay Ching Kitan, kay Terence and Ted Lim to be one of your Fritz mentors. Excited po ako ngayong gabing ito for our first OF Winner Success Summit dahil I will have the privilege to tell you about marriage and love. Pag-uusapan po natin ang four qualities of love. But before we start, I'd like to give you an overview of how I normally start my program sa radyo when I started in 1985 and when I did Love Notes in 1988. Here's how it goes. Hi, I'm Joe Domango. Hello and welcome to another episode of Love Notes. Sometimes, sometimes, letting it out can make a big difference. Oh, yes. And sometimes, you gotta let your heart speak. You gotta let your heart speak. You gotta let it out. No matter what you're going through, I know how you feel. I know it's hard to reveal. Ayan, sana naalala nyo na I started my career in radio no 1985 I met my wife in 1986 And we got married in 1988 Disclaimer po muna, I stand before you not because my marriage is perfect. I stand before you because my marriage has been broken, and, but it has been renewed and restored by the grace and mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is in the brokenness of my marriage that I'm presenting myself to you today. Dahil my marriage has been made whole again by the love and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. When I started in radio, I became a love guru. Uh, naging popular po yung programa nating Love Notes sa Pilipinas. I thought that the reason why my marriage was surviving and why my marriage was thriving is because magaling ako magbigay ng advice. Yun ang trabaho ko. I've been doing that for the longest time in my life. But when I became a Christian, I realized that the reason why my marriage is still intact, bakit mag-asawa pa rin kami ni Bing ngayon, is not because of who I am. It's not because of what I know but it's because of the grace and mercy of our Lord alone. There are two days in a year na you are never in control of, and that is yesterday, and the other one is tomorrow. Today is the day. Sabihin niyan sa kasama niyo ngayon. Today is the day. Today is the day that we will live our lives and love the way that God has loved us and show that in the relationships that we have around us. Life, hindi po madali. Buhay mag-asawa, lalong hindi madali. 
But we have endured so many things sa buhay natin. We are where we are right now. And pagbabalikan po natin lahat ng pinagdaanan natin. There are so many things that we need to be thankful for. Kaya let's start the day by saying, Lord, salamat po for where I am right now. It is by your grace that I am here na lahat tayo ay andito ngayon. Every day should be a celebration of the life that God has given you. And every day should be a celebration of the relationships that God has put in your life. Today we're going to talk about marriage. But I want to let you know that the most important relationship that you would ever have, more than anything else, yung relationship natin sa Panginoon. At the end of the day, in the end, it is the only relationship that will matter. In the light of this, I want to talk about the next most important relationship that you could ever have, and that is your relationship with your spouse. But even if we're going to focus on marriage tonight, kahit wala po kayong asawa, you would still learn a lot from this because we would talk about love. As I said before, the four qualities of love. Sabi sa Bible, let everything you do be done out of love. Husbands, wives, yung mga mag-asawa, today we will talk about marriage. I've been married for 34 years. Iba sa inyo, whether you're married one year, two years, or 50 years, we all know one thing as a fact, that there is no such thing as a perfect marriage. Your marriage will not be as always as beautiful as the ones you posted on your Instagram kung bagong kasal lang kayo. Or it will not always be as beautiful as the pictures that you find this wedding album ninyo. Ang sabi nila, marriage is a noun. But it is also a verb. More than anything else, marriage is not something that we get because we walk down the aisle with someone. It is something that we do on a daily basis. And it is in doing marriage that we realize na yung mga best marriages are the marriages where yung mga hindi masyadong maganda and yung mga magaganda, the not so good and so good things are coexisting with one another. Even if you always see your spouse in rose-colored glasses, in love na in love ka palagi sa kanya, we all know that not all marriages are perfect. There will always be good and bad days in our marriages. And I hope for most of us, mas maganda sana yung mas maraming good days than bad days, right? In any relationship, remember, there will always be tension. And this tension is not caused by the lack of love or by the lack of intimacy or affection because this tension is not about that. And this tension is not necessarily bad because if you handle this tension correctly, it can even strengthen your marriage in times of pressure. Now, this tension is brought about by unmet expectations. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon. The tension lies between what we expect and what we see in reality. It is the ideal, yung gusto natin, and what is really happening in reality in our present. We should manage our expectations kasi if we don't, there will be conflicts between what we expect and what we see happening in our lives. Here are some pictures, no? Nakakatawa to, mga memes to about uh, expectations versus reality. Yung wife pumunta sa grocery. Pauwi sa bahay, sabi niya, Uy, magme-message muna ako sa asawa ko. Sabi niya, okay honey, see you in a bit, take care. Ano expectation and reality? Sabi ng asawa, imbis na, I miss you too. Uy, huwag mo kalimutang bumili ng, ano, ng gatas bago ka umuwi. Don't forget the toilet paper. Don't forget the oil. Nawawala na yung sweetness. Nawawala na yung, yung bromance sa relationship. And that's the reality. Nangyayari yan in every marriage. When you start in your relationship, parang in love na in love kayo sa isa't isa. Kahit magtitigal lang kayo maghapon, okay na. Hindi na kailangan kumain. Busog na busog ka na. No. But in reality, after the butterflies in your stomach have gone by, it sets in. Nakikita mo na yung mga bagay na hindi mo expect na ugali pala o gawain pala ng asawa mo. Reality sets in. And also, this picture tells us of the scenario when, no, alaalala mo, bago pa lang kayo, bago pa lang kayo mag-asawa o mag-boyfriend, the guy would always say, alam ko saan tayo kakain. There's this good restaurant, masarap pang pagkain dito, punta tayo dito. 
But after a few years in marriage or in the relationship, ang conversation nyo na is, oh, saan tayo kakain? Ikaw, bahala ka. Anong gusto mo? Ikaw. Kung saan mo gusto? Ikaw, ikaw ang mamili. Kung nang, hindi ikaw ang gusto kong isatisfy anong gusto mo kainin. Remember, we get into that kind of situation wherein imbis na ma-enjoy natin yung dinner natin, we end, we end up like yung uh, corpses, bride and groom. Nawawala na yung excitement, hindi na tayo nag-enjoy kasi nauwi na nagkainisan simply because hindi natin alam sa tayo kakain. Reality versus expectation. There is a middle ground dun sa gitna ng reality and expectation and that is where the tension starts. This is also where we realize that there is something more important than our relationship with our spouse. It is in this tension, in this middle ground that we realize that it is our relationship with Jesus that is more important than our relationship with our wife or with our husband. Because in this middle ground between reality and expectation, that is where we will find the joy, the purpose, and the meaning of our marriage. This is where Jesus meets you and where real love becomes the language of your marriage. It is where being kind is more important than being right when you are arguing with one another. It is where the Holy Spirit empowers your marriage so that you are able to live your married Christian life with supernatural joy in spite of everything that you're going through. Not all of you may agree with me, but I believe that marriage Our marriages should not be endured, but celebrated. Sino sa inyo nagtitiis na lang sa asawa ninyo? A lot of us sometimes feel that way. But no one is given more than 24 hours than the others. Every day, lahat tayo, we all have the same time. 24 hours a day. And within that 24 hours, we always have a choice. We have a choice to either celebrate our spouse or endure our spouse, to celebrate our marriage or endure our marriage. You see, the real act of marriage, it takes place in the heart. Hindi yan ang nangyayari dun sa uh, magarbong church wedding mo or yung beautiful and expensive garden wedding or beach wedding. Marriage starts in the heart. It's a choice that you make not just on your wedding day when you exchange your vows to one another. It's a choice that you make every day over and over and over again for the rest of your life and that choice is reflected by the way you treat your spouse your choice mo in loving your spouse is reflected in the way you treat them remember that marriage is a verb it is something that you do it is the way you love your partner every day and you either live your marriage for god's glory or you live it for your glory. I would like to share with you a story. Nabasa ko to one time. It's about a man with Alzheimer's disease. May uh, dementia na siya. Sobrang nakalimutan na niya yung buhay niya. No? 68 years old na si Michael. So advanced na yung kanyang dementia. Nakalimutan na niyang married na siya with Linda of 38 years. No? Pero nakakatawa dahil tayo kahit hindi pa tayo uh, makakalimutin. No? Wala pa tayong dementia. Nakakalimutan na natin may asawa pala tayo. No? But Michael, it's different. He was in love with Linda. And he is an honorable man. Kaya after 38 years, kalimutan na niyang asawa pala niya yun, he proposed again. Now, nung nag-propose si Michael, will you marry me? Sabi ni Linda, nako, eh, asawa ko na siya. Sasabihin ko bang asawa ko na siya? Pero hindi niya sinabi yun. Sinabi niya, of course, I will. Thinking na, the next day, makakalimutan na rin ni Michael na nag siya. But the next morning, pagising ni Michael, sabi niya, Oh, so when are we doing this? Nagulat si Linda, naalala pa ni Michael the next day. Remember, advanced na yung dementia niya, di ba? So, napilitan si Linda invite yung friends niya and community. Sabi niya, we will have a wedding request kasi ni Michael, no? Sabi niya, two nights ago, out of the blue, with tear-filled eyes, he asked me to marry him. Michael had clearly forgotten na kasal na kami. But nakiride on na lang ako and sabi ko, I would love to be your wife. In spite of his confused mind, alam naman niya and he feels that this is something that he really wants to do. To Michael, it will be our wedding ceremony, but to me, it's truly a precious 
and memorable occasion. Ito na, wedding morning. Linda wasn't sure kung matatandaan ni Michael. And kinakabahala siya kasi nakaset na lahat. Meron ng celebrant, meron ng pagkain, nakahanda na lahat. Sabi niya, ako, paano paggising? Tapos nakalimutan na niya na ikakasal pala kami ngayon. So, that morning was pretty stressful for Linda. Anxious siya, no? And alam mo, paggising ni Michael, ang sabi niya kay Linda, the first thing that he said, sabi niya, today is the day. So they exchanged vows at the scenic lake near their home as friends looked on. Sabi niya, there's been a lot of sadness and frustration, but despite of all the fogginess and the haziness, today has been pure joy. Kinasan sila and everyone was happy, and Michael was the happiest man alive during that day. Sadly po, namatay si Michael during the lockdown in 2020 of a heart attack. And this story struck me because I know deep in my heart, real love, kung totoo yung pagmamahal mo sa isang tao, hindi makakalimot. Real love doesn't forget. If ever I forget many things in my life, marami na akong uh, senior moments, no? My prayer is that I would be like Michael. That I will never forget that I love my wife. Marami tayong mababasang libro, podcast, uh, articles about marriage, mga videos about marriage. Some of you probably know about marriage more than I do. But if you are in a relationship, I want you to think about this. There is no such thing as a perfect marriage, regardless of where you are in your relationship right now. Remember the four qualities of love. The Bible says, love bears all things. Never give up on the people you love. No relationship is perfect. Tandaan natin, we all have our struggles that we must work through. The truly great marriages, you marriages for both husband and wife, truly care for each other. They work through their problems. They do not fight in their marriage. They fight for their marriage. They find solutions and they never stop caring for one another. We never give up. Tandaan we never give up on the people we love. No matter how hard, how difficult, or how painful yung situation natin. I always say, lagi ko sinasabi ito sa mga tao, the true measure of love is in being able to love someone, even if you cannot find the reason to anymore. Yung patuloy mo pa rin mamahalin yung isang tao, kahit sa sarili mo, sa puso mo, sa isipan mo, even in reality, wala ka nang makitang dahilan para mahalin at ipaglaban ang tao ngayon. That is the greatest measure of love. Love bears all things. Never give up on the people you love. Number two, the Bible says, love believes in all things. Importante yung pagtitiwala sa isa't isa. Yung totoong strong marriages, they're built on the pillars of trust. There's no piece of paper that can make you stay in your marriage. Yung pinirmahan yung marriage contract, kaya nyo nga pinirmahan yan, no? Sa isang piece of paper, <laughs> Simply because alam natin hindi madali ang marriage. If it's easy, you wouldn't be asked to sign on a piece of paper a contract that binds you to that person for life. Marriage is a commitment. Isa pong decision niya na ginagawa natin sa puso natin. And trust, yung trust, yung tiwala ng tao sa atin that is earned when our actions match our words. Yung sinasabi natin, dapat nagmamatch yung actions natin. That is where trust is built. In the end, let's remember that we put our trust in Jesus for our marriage. Not in our own capability. Like how I believe na sa sobrang galing ko mag-advise, kaya ako uh, still in my marriage. But in reality, it's not. It's by the grace of God. We need to put our marriage under the trust in care of our Lord Jesus Christ because God wants nothing but the best for you and your spouse. So by trusting God, you're actually opening the door for God to work in and through your marriage. 
na magawa niya yung bagay na siya lamang at walang iba ang pwede gumawa. To restore your marriage, to fix your marriage, to renew your marriage, to deepen your love for one another. Si Lord lang ang pwede gumawa niya. Number three, the Bible says love hopes in all things. Meron akong isi-share sa inyo na story, uh, statement to na isang wife. No? Sobrang ganda lang. Sinabi niya sentiment siya sa husband niya. Sabi niya, my husband is human prone to choose the path of least resistance. Sabi niya, and I have waited for him. Waited for so long na magbago siya. Lord, kailan siya magbabago? And the more I look at him, sabi niya, struggling and suffering and seeming not to change, lalo ako nawawala ng pag-asa na pwede pa siya magbago. Pero ito sabi niya, it is unfair for me to pin my hope to my husband. He can never be my everything. He can never live up to the unrealistic expectations I have of him to be the perfect husband. Never. In spite of what she felt towards her husband, naintindihan din niya na her husband cannot be the perfect man for him. Because no, perf- no person is perfect. Only God is perfect. And only God can keep the hope alive in me. Yun ang sabi niya. We put God, our hope in God in our marriages. Dahil hindi natin pwede baguhin yung mga asawa natin. Only God can. We can only pray for them. We can only continue to love them and embrace them for who they are. But only God can change your spouse. And when we put our hope in God, we can believe for change. Mahirap kasi makita because we are too close to the pain and struggle kung tayo mismo sarili natin ang tatanungin natin. But if you put your hope in the Lord, the Bible says that hope will never put you to shame. Number four, the Bible says love endures everything. Love endures all things. Ang word natin is stay. Yung word the endure, it's a compound word combining two words, under and to remain. So in the strictest sense, yung endure means to remain under. Yung context ng Bible when it says that love endures all things, it means that we are willing to remain and stay in the relationship regardless of of the situation for the sake of one another rather than seeking our own pleasure our own desire our own comfort you don't fix your problem by running away from it and po natin yan. when your spouse is making your life difficult for you you don't look for a way out you look for a way through it by the grace the mercy the love and compassion of the Lord upon you and your marriage And we go through it with complete hope and trust in the Lord, knowing that the Lord only wants the best for you and your spouse. The overflow of God's unconditional love. Sabi nga, we love because God loved us first. That overflow will enable you in your marriage to bear, believe, hope, and endure every circumstance you and your spouse will find yourself into by the grace and mercy of our Lord. Husbands, wives, tandaan nyo ito. Your journey started when you promised to marry the one that you love. It was magical. It was beautiful. Tandaan mo yung yung time na nagbuwak kayo down the aisle, the wedding day, the reception, everything was beautiful and expensive too sometimes. But that is just the beginning. The real challenge of marriage is when you are asked to not marry the one that you love, but to actually love the one that you married. And there are times that it would really seem to be the hardest thing that you would ever have to do. Dahil sa maraming pagkakataon, you would even struggle to light the person. Kasi ang nang, na, napuno ka ng inis, galit, paghinanakit, sama ng loob sa taong yan. But you are still asked to love that person because marriage is a commitment and love is a choice. And when you choose to love, you choose the path of the Bible. And that is to bear all things, believe all things, hope in all things, and endure all things because of love. 
the Bible says do everything in love. And I would like to pray for all the marriages represented here, that our relationships will be centered on Christ and Christ alone, and that He will grow our love for Him deeper every day. And out of this love will overflow our love for one another as husband and wife. My prayer in every marriage tonight is that there will be love, joy, and peace. There will be kindness, patience, and goodness in our relationships. That there will be faithfulness, self-control, and gentleness in our marriages. Maraming maraming salamat po for joining me tonight. Remember, love bears all things, love believes all things, love hopes all things, and love endures all things. You marry the person that you love. Now the challenge is to love the person that you marry. God bless you all. Magandang magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. And we'll see you again next time. Good night. Sometimes, sometimes, letting it out can make a big difference. Oh, yes. And sometimes, you gotta let your heart speak. You gotta let your heart speak. You gotta let it out. No matter what you're going through, yeah. I know how you feel. I know it's hard to reveal. Ladies and gentlemen, live na live po. Asama po natin siya, Joe the Mango. <laughs> yes, maraming maraming salamat. Terence and Ted, it's really an honor and a pleasure to join yung mga mga kasama natin na uh, idol ko talaga uh, from the very beginning Sir Francis Kong si Ching Kitan we go a long way back so maraming maraming salamat it's really an honor to be part of this sobrang sobrang ganda I, really tonight uh, we all felt so blessed no sa inyong tatlo Ah, uh, feeling sent, ko kay God sent eh, no? yeah. God sent. <laughs> feeling ko kay nakasalit kami. Ay, marami nang magkasama ngayon na magkasama diyan. Can we just hug? Yeah, pakita. Yun. Thank you so much, do. Bye, hug. Ate mo, asa. Maraming salamat. Tinatamaan naman tayo, tao lang tayo, kaya nga and this is your tamago, kaya sobrang, sobrang bless ang community na to. Sana mas marami pa mga overseas Filipino ang makapakinig ng ganito and it's really a, a, a blessing that we are all guided, no? Y- yun lang, yes. so thankful with all the sharings that you did. <laughs> Salamat, uh, Terence and Ted. I remember when you first talked to me about the French Revolution on uh, uh, you told me about your vision, your advocacy. Sabi ko, ang galing, no? Kasi you're not only teaching our OF, OF, uh, w, uh family and friends na sa ibang bansa how to uh, have a winning lifestyle and um, maging winner pagdating sa kaperahan, no? But also value the relationships, di ba? No matter how much money we make, how Um, rich we become if we uh, become that at the expense of our family hindi rin maganda di ba and there's no nothing that can justify no failure in the family kahit naging successful tayo sa ibang bagay so yung combination ng approach no towards our OF winners na uh, mindset pera and family sobrang ganda sabi ka I want to be part of it kaya I'm here Wow, maraming maraming thank you, thank you, thank you, Joe. Thank you so much. And see you again on our everyday. Again, we have a dance, messages yes. of peace. 
Meron pong ano si Sir Joe Damango. Habang nagsasauna kami sa nakikinig ako, meron siyang Spotify. Yan. Ano bang yes, meron? Meron din YouTube. Yan. Meron. So you can follow. Meron tayong session, meron tayong session sa October. Uh, one on one. You can ask Joe whatever you want to ask. And we'll try to answer all of them. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, if winner sa puso, talaga. October 7, huwag niyong kalimutan. Saturday, 8 p.m. Yan, Saturday, 8 p.m., October 7, no? Uh, 2023, pakisip the date na po. Isipin mo, di ba? Pwede silang magtanong kay Joe Damango. Isipin mo, through Fritz Revon, na ibabalik natin yung Dear Joe. Wow! Yes, how to heck a win you know, from afar. Di ba? Kasi iba yung relationship na makatabi kayo. No? Uh, malapit, minsan naman, yung makalayo. Minsan... Ang relationship yes. bilang isang OFW, di ba? Uh, pagod sa trabaho, pag, uh, pag-uwi sa bahay, maraming pang kailangan gawin, kailangan pa maglaba, kailangan pa pagplansya, and it really takes a toll dun sa relationship na to. So I'm sure marami tayong matutunan kasi yeah. <laughs> okay, so, ano, talagang ano to, uh, sabi ko nga, eh, di ko masabi pa ulit-ulit, God sent, God sent, God sent, kasi exactly. talagang very important ang relationship. Tama po ba? Kapit- yeah. Whether you're single, no, whether you're married, no, talagang importante po yung relationship, no, relationship sa mga asawa sa taas sa tabi natin talaga mm. important uh, uh, yeah it's so important at kailangan kong ganyan si Tess makinig ka dyan nag ginanan din niya makinig ka dyan o di ba kaya kami gusto sa duty sa Joe sa ano natin sa community yeah. natin Joe Maraming maraming salamat uh, for uh, joining us tonight. Nako, uh, nag-extend tayo pero it's all worth it. Kahit mas mahabang oras pa, I'm sure hindi natin ito pagsisisihan. And this is just the start, sabi nga ni Terence and Ted. This is just the start. Uh, kami ni Sir Francis, ni uh, Chinky, Terence and Ted, we are all committed to helping our Filipino uh, kababayan sa mga kaibigan, kapatid, kamag-anak to actually live a winning lifestyle. Hindi lang sa pera, hindi lang sa mindset kundi winning lifestyle in terms of relationships sayang naman kung wala tayong babalikan di ba na mga pamilya no ang dami kong alam na storya in my 30 years of doing love notes they all start with ang ganda na intention no to bring their family to a better place no ika nga financially but they end up losing their family in the process so what's the use of that kung hindi natin makakamit yung yung pagiging winner in all aspects of our life so this is the perfect place for you to be in and i'm i'm really glad and honored to be part of the fridge revolution family uh, for life wow. <laughs> thank you thank you joe 